right, people eat lots of weird stuff now, but bugs might be the bites of the future. And that idea from no less than an authority from the United Nations. And for good reason, actually. ABC's Lana Zak is here with more on that. Hey there, Lana. We're hey. talking bugs. Yes, <laughs> and it may seem like an extreme dare or a Soylent Green-inspired science fiction, but some experts now say that insects may be on our menu. What kind of person eats bugs? Dave Gracer does. He advocates eating insects, bringing some to the New York Hall of Science, a bold proposal in the fight against global hunger. He says it could be our future by 2050. Insects don't have to be gross if we can open our minds. To keep pace with population growth, experts predict food production will need to double in just 40 years. Insect farming is more environmentally friendly and may even be healthier. They can be a great source of healthy proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals. Are those grasshoppers? The United Nations just issued a report touting the environmental and health benefits of eating insects. After all, two billion people across the world do. But many of us just can't get over the psychological barrier. What do they, they smell, smell like? Yes, of course. I don't like the way they smell. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> there's, so there's a little bit of a curry smell, but I think just initially... Uh-huh. It's messing with your head. It is. But what if insects were presented as a delicacy? Even lobster, the cockroach of the sea, used to be prisoner food. Perceptions can change when food tastes delicious. Onions, jalapenos, chapulines. At Toloache in Manhattan, cricket tacos are gourmet cuisine. They're really, really delicious. On those little tacos, you get the same protein, you get like a 14 ounces of steak. So with a couple of courageous friends by my side, we overcame our prejudice. One, two, three. Good Ooh, tastes a little bit like chicken and cheese. Ketchup, please. Whoa. Bringing a whole new meaning to food for thought. Not bad at all. Now, insect farming has the potential to be a food source for humans, but right now those crickets are actually more expensive than filet mignon. Now, that, of course, would change if more people started eating them, which is what the UN says may have to happen in 40 years, which brings us to our dare. Are you up for it? Uh, well. I brought you some cricket bars. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. So you brought us these uh, Chaco bars, right? And, right? and they're made of cricket flour. So you're Cricket not... Cricket and flour ground up together, that's what we're eating? You have a much easier task Yes, than you're absolutely right. Better than the live cricket. Here we go. It goes up. How, well, what's yours made out of? Yours has stuff in this it. This is like... flavored with cayenne, pepper, and coffee. <laughs> so that already doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, it's not bad. It really? Bad. It, tastes so, it tastes sort of okay, like, um, like a... It's like a brownie. Right, a brownie or maybe um, like a health food bar. Mm. Much like you, I'm not so crazy about the way it smells. <laughs> and mine, but, what's uh, my mind's chocolate. Oh my goodness. Chocolate but it really, it did change my mind when they when they told me, of course, lobsters are the cockroach of the sea. I've which I know this and I don't want to think about it. And it does change your perceptions mm. about and what by, is possible. And by the way, if you're starving, you know, you'll eat anything. Mm -hmm. So it's all good. I don't taste solution. like a brownie for global hunger. <laughs> you're not, not going to have any more bugs? This is I'm it, done. You? I'm good. Great yeah. Report. I'll wait 40 Lana, years. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate Thank you. It.